Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to draw a Jim Dine inspired heart. Jim Dine, you can find his name right here and um, check him out, look up his, some of his work and I'll be sure to put a link so you can see um, stuff that I find interesting as well. To do this, you need to start by drawing a heart with your pencil, trying to make it take up a majority of your page. After you draw the heart, you're going to take a crayon Pick the color you want your heart to be. And you're going to very lightly color in your heart. It's important to keep the same um, pressure throughout. So don't start off pushing hard and then get a lot lighter. Just stay pushing the same amount the whole time. So I'm gonna use light to medium pressure throughout the whole heart. It helps if you put some, another paper under your paper so it has a smooth texture. You might be wondering why I'm avoiding the edges. I'm going to be adding pencil. All right. Let me fill these in. All righty. So my heart is colored and I know it's kind of lumpy looking. That's okay. Now I have a very sharp pencil, and I'm gonna use this to shade in my heart. That's right, I'm putting pencil on top of crayon to create a really cool look. So I hold my pencil like this because it's so sharp, I just need the edge, because I want it to be a little bit wider. So I'm just gonna kind of color around the edges of the heart. And I can bring it in to the heart a little bit, not a lot. And then just so you can see what I'm talking about, we're gonna go through and kind of blend that pencil into the crayon. See how it looks shaded. Then you can always go back and put another layer of crayon on top of it. So it makes some areas a lot darker. Now we're gonna try to leave one side of it a little bit lighter so it looks like there's light hitting it. So I'm gonna kind of leave this area here as my light part. So I'll continue with my pencil. I do want a little bit around the edge here. Blend, blend, blend.
All right, so now we have a very artsy looking heart. It looks very, um, there's a lot. There's texture, there's shading, there's light, there's lines. It's just, ooh, whoops. That's okay, I'm okay with that. It looks kind of neat. Kind of goes with my sketchy looking style, my loose. So you can kind of keep going with that style or you can continue with his style, which is swatches of color. So I'm just gonna take random colors, random with a purpose. When picking colors for your background, um, I kept mine in pretty simple palettes, pretty much stuck to the primary colors just to make my heart stand out a lot more. It definitely complements it that way. But again, choose whatever makes you happy, whatever your heart desires. I hope you guys had fun drawing some Jim Dine inspired hearts and a new way to use pencil and crayon together. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.